a trailer that's going to need some repairs after it ran right into a bridge, and the truck was simply too tall to go under the bridge. WBZ's Michael Rosenfield talked with the driver of that truck who said he had no idea. This trailer totaled. Much of the roof sheared right off after crashing into the Bailey Memorial Bridge. I should have been more careful. Truck driver James Barry says he never saw any of the warning signs leading up to the bridge. Well, I was coming down that road. As soon as I passed the curb, I didn't see no br uh, low bridge sign. I thought, well, heck, center of the road, I can make it. Uh-uh. The sides were too low. It caught the edge of my trailer. You can see damage to part of the bridge, some debris from the trailer dangling from the top. The height of the bridge is 10 feet 3 inches, the trailer 13 feet 6 inches. This photo was taken as the truck backed out. Officers on the scene say Barry acknowledged seeing the warning signs. He did say he saw him, but by that point he was well into the area. For some reason he made the attempt uh, to go over the bridge and get caught. Police had said you saw the signs but were trying to make a go of it anyway. No, I didn't see the sign. Big trucks like the one I'm in right now do get warnings about the height restrictions in place. We counted at least three signs as we made the same approach. One of the issues that we have is this is a uh, major thoroughfare between Amesbury and Newburyport along the river. And when truck drivers plug into their GPS, they want to get from point A to point B, it directs them through here. We saw one truck have to turn around. Barry says it was his GPS that led him this way, but he admits that's no excuse. But as a professional driver, stuff like that shouldn't happen. You know, that's stupidity on my behalf. The damage to the bridge was just cosmetic, and the bridge reopened by the afternoon. In Amesbury, Michael Rosenfield, WBC News.